I have to admit, this isn't really my favorite mountain circle seed I've ever discovered. There are others that I've featured in videos that I think are better than this one. But that doesn't mean I don't like this seed. I do like it, and here's why. Firstly, this small patch of cherry grove is hilarious. There are no trees here, it's just petals on the ground. At the bottom, there's a big lake. This is easily my favorite part of this seed. The waterfalls flowing down into it look awesome. Just a really awesome lake. There's a mountainside village that generates high up. This village building is right next to a big dripstone cave. I like how this building generates here. So overall, it is a pretty decent mountain ring spawn. Before continuing, I just want to say that today's comment of the day is find. This comment used a comment of the day in the last video. Use find in a comment, be creative with it, and have a chance to be featured in my next video and receive a heart on the comment. The map shows an igloo on the outside of the mountains. At first, I thought this was the igloo with the entrance blocked off, which would have been pretty funny but it's actually down here. It fits right in with the mountain terrain. This igloo has a basement too. Underneath the igloo, there is an ancient city. You can usually expect an ancient city when spawning into a world with mountainous terrain, but it's still great knowing it's there. There are plenty of mountains to explore around the sea too. I think this is my favorite mountain. There's a really cool mountain range here. This valley spot is pretty cool. There's a mountainside village. And there's a cherry grove on the edge of the mountains here. Go ahead and explore this seed for yourself. And just know, you'll start with that mountain ring at spawn. While searching for seeds for my recent Survival Island Seeds video, I stumbled across this seed. It didn't make it into that video, but I still wanted to feature it on my channel. The seed has twin islands at spawn, and they both have villages on them. And they're surrounded by frozen ocean icebergs. The terrain here on the spawn island looks really cool. The village on this one stretches into the frozen ocean and onto the other island. It has 13 total buildings and three farms. The second island has a small crater and a waterfall. The village generates completely on the island. It has 10 buildings, including a blacksmith building. Snowy style blacksmith buildings are one of my favorite village buildings. There are many ocean monuments around the spawn area, but this one is really close by and it comes with ocean ruins on it. Just a really cool spot that I wanted to mention. And the final thing I want to mention is that there are mushroom islands close by too. You can see that with the pinkish sections on the map. Here's the one closest to the spawn islands. Since it's a pretty small island, you can explore to find a bigger one if you want to. So yeah, that's a twin snowy village island seed. In one of my recent five weekly seeds videos, I featured a seed with an outpost and shipwreck on a cliff. Well, today we have a seed with a village and shipwreck on a cliff. We spawn into the world on the side of a little plains hill and can see some frozen peaks nearby. There's also this absolutely crazy area here. With the terrain being so elevated, there are some huge cliffs around this lake. Villages and cliffs always look awesome. We have a few buildings at the top of the cliffs and some crazy looking paths leading up the side of the cliffs. It has a village well generating on the cliffside too. I'm not really sure what's going on here, but this cube of cobblestone generates directly under the well opening, but it still has water in it. It's pretty interesting. Of course, we get much of the village generating on the water. I like how this building generates and this building too. Adding a shipwreck to this area is just really cool, especially with a village building generating underneath it. It looks incredible. The waterfalls around this area look awesome too. On the cliff side, there's a cave opening. It leads to a big cave that looks fantastic. Traveling through the cave leads to this spot. I always like the look of these natural pillars. The surface level of this area actually has some pretty cool elevated terrain. And the outside of that area looks so awesome. The seed has plenty of mountains around it, but this spot is my favorite. It's a mix of jagged and stony peaks. It's a really awesome area. I also wanted to mention this location. The outpost tower just generates by itself. It looks pretty cool on the mountain. But yeah, that village shipwreck and cliff spot near spawn is definitely the main reason to check out this Minecraft seed. Later this week, I'll have a cherry grove seeds video, but why not get a head start on it? Cherry groves are one of my favorite biomes, so I have no problem with doing searches for cherry grove seeds. This seed has a cherry grove on the edge of frozen peaks. It creates a really cool looking spawn area, 
definitely a nice area to get some cool shots for this video. Cherry groves and mountains is just one of the best terrain combinations in Minecraft. The mountains almost form a ring, but this spot doesn't connect. The plains biome does rise up to create a ring of elevated terrain though. Of course, there's a village here too. It's not really the most exciting village, it's pretty small, but it does look pretty cool on the mountainside. Right underneath the village, there's a spider spawner. It's actually exposed to the surface. Pretty cool having such easy access to it. I'm not going to feature them, but I wanted to mention that underneath the spawn area, there are plenty of ancient cities, including three underneath the spawn modes. I do want to feature this area though. This pillager outpost on the edge of the jagged peaks looks really cool. And the forest area down below could be a really awesome place to build with the mountains providing a lot of natural scenery. So that's a cherry grove spawn seed. Be on the lookout for a video with more cherry grove seeds later this week. This comment mentioned wanting to see a triple plains village seed. I think I found that and more. You can see on the map that we spawn in a village with two more villages on the side. The spawn village is pretty big. It has 16 buildings, including an armory, a library, a mason's house, and a blacksmith. There's a lava pool in the middle of the village, so the tree is likely to burn down if you don't deal with it or have fire spread off. The second village is super close to the spawn village. It's about 15 blocks away, which is nothing. The village is a bit smaller with 11 buildings and a farm. It includes two of the newer church buildings and a Fletcher's house. There is a little ravine here next to the village and another ravine here that leads down to a deep slate cave. Across this river, there is another ravine cave opening. This one has a mine shaft in it. It looks really cool. It's a pretty fun place to explore near spawn. I just want to mention that the cave at the bottom of the ravine is pretty big too. The third spawn village is towards the northeast. It's just across the river from the village we spawn in. It's on a hill and is much more compact than the other two villages. It has nine buildings and a farm. That includes a tannery and a library. The village hill generates with this big cave opening thing. Some of the village path goes down here. There's also a lava pool here. Just north of the village is a ruined portal. It's far enough away that I wouldn't quite consider this a ruined portal village. It does add one more structure at spawn though, so that's cool. There are a couple places outside of spawn that I want to show starting with this area. There's a mountain, a cherry grove, and some frozen ocean. There's a tiny section of ice spikes here. A pillager outpost tower generates on the mountainside here. It looks pretty cool. And right here, there's a village. It has some crazy terrain with it being on the edge of a hill. I like this spot in the river. And finally, I just want to mention that there are four other villages in the spawn plains biome that haven't been seen yet. Well, actually, if I zoom out in the map, the plains biome is huge, so there's even more. But let's keep it within 1500 blocks or so. On screen, you can see the coordinates of the four villages I'm referring to. This is my favorite village of the four. It has three churches, a floating farm, and a big ravine. So yeah, I showed a lot here, but remember, this all started with a triple village at spawn. And with that, I say subscribe to the channel, click the bell, and like the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out of here. See ya.